Northfield High School has suddenly been shut down again. Just yesterday, Building 21 reopened to in person learning after being closed for two months for asbestos remediation. But as Madeline Wright reports, classes have once again gone virtual because of a different issue. 18 year old Matthew Gaiman is a senior at Building 21. He says life was finally starting to feel normal when the school reopened on Tuesday following asbestos remediation, but it's once again shut down. He says it's a major setback for me because we were supposed to be doing like a little additional help class every Wednesday, and I was ready for that today. The school sent parents this letter saying classes would have to be virtual for the rest of the week. The problem? Plaster fell in a third floor stairwell because of water damage, likely caused by last week's wind and rainstorm. Another stairwell also had potential water damage. The letter goes on to say, with both stairwells closed, the distance students and staff would need to travel to building exits would not meet code requirements. In general, why didn't they make the building better over the years? That's just how I was. That's, I was just mad about that. As the district struggles with aging infrastructure, Philadelphia Council Member at Large Kendra Brooks traveled to Harrisburg this week to ask the state to invest more money in schools ahead of its June 30th budget deadline. Governor Shapiro offered $500 million across the state towards infrastructure. Our ask is for $5 billion across the state for infrastructure. Building 21 is one of six Philly schools that was temporarily shut down in the last few months due to asbestos. Every year we have had school closures for various reasons and it's time that we make these solid investments in our school and stop the patchwork. As lawmakers negotiate the budget, Matthew's mom says this closure is a major disruption to his education. We don't have choices. We have to have a public school system so they got to get it together. The school district says it'll provide an update Friday on the status of repairs here at Building 21. In West Oak Lane, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.